What's up everybody? Welcome back. Ruben Tech Saltwater Fishing and today I'm doing a little product review. This is Ingratech and we're going to do a review on the Plum 300. Now they're the new kid on the block, new on the market. They reached out to me and said, hey, if we send you uh, one of our portable power stations, one of our power stations, would you possibly integrate it into a video or do a product review on it? I said, absolutely. So the first thing that I typically do is when I am hit up by companies is that I'll start doing my own research. I'll get online and watch some videos and read reviews and let me tell you the reviews that I've seen on their website is is outstanding they get like I think it's like 4.8 out of five stars and um, there's also other content creator the videos out there and I'll link those in the description section of this video that are, are a little more in detailed and and really live off the grid or do a lot of stuff outdoors that may be right up your alley so it can also persuade you into buying one of these items uh, if, if you choose to uh, they they persuaded me into agreeing to Ingratech and tell them yeah sure send me one and uh, and send me you know send, send me the 100 watt solar panel too because you know out here you know, on the Gulf Coast you know we experience uh, power outages. We also experience, you know, due to weather, we also experience a lot of hurricanes. And it's about 90 degrees outside right now, and we're just getting ready to start hurricane season. So having a solar panel and and a power station, a 300 watt power station, is can really, really help me and my family out quite a lot. You know, if we do run into those cases where we have rolling blackouts or, or power outage due to, you know, hurricanes or severe weather. But one of the things that I did notice, like right off the bat, as soon as it came in, was how small of a box it actually came in. And they have some pretty cool stuff on the back, like the user guide is like pretty cool that they have, that they offer a quick reference and that, that you can see. And just a quick reference all the way around the box. And uh, But yeah, let's take a look at, at the unit. So the interfacing of this unit is is pretty is pretty nifty. They, they really put a lot of things in a small package. I mean, the dimensions on this is really small. It's pretty light. It weighs under five pounds, so very easy for you to stick in your kayak or your boat or to take camping with you. It comes with a nice, cool little little handle, and there's another strap that, that it comes with too. But you can also take this with you on the office or on location. Like myself, I record a lot, so a lot of times I need lighting, like a ring light right here. A lot of times I'll use lighting. That's similar to this. Maybe not this one, but a lot of times I will use lighting, and this is isn't rechargeable it's it has to be plugged in and into a power source so USB power source USB light I'm, I'm good to go and also like taking my, my laptop with me um, using it and again if there's not a power source around or available then I can use this uh, you can take this with you camping and, and like today we're at a park you can take what you at a park you can take what you at a beach um, there's really endless possibilities that that you can you can take this this small compact device We'll get a little bit into it. And if you want to see the unboxing portion, there's I do have the unboxing portion that's at the end of this video that kind of shows you when I take everything out and I really look into things, more details and all the cables and everything. But just right here off the front, I don't know if you can see this interface, but it's pretty cool and it's pretty nifty. When you plug something, when you plug anything in it and you're using this device, it will show you the waters that it's taking to charge your, to charge your device when using this power station. And and it would also show you the waters that it's using and taking out and how long it, uh, your runtime on here. Uh, I was watching this one video and uh, a couple videos and a couple people putting like portable um, portable or small refrigerators and able to run off this Plum 300 for like eight, nine hours. So that's outstanding, especially if you do run into some rolling blackouts or, or hurricanes or if you have any uh, devices and medical devices that you need to plug in and need to keep charge. It does have an AC port right here. There's your power button and here's your, your really great interface is showing you all the powers that you're being used and, and, and how long is it is run and, and, and our charge take charge. You have two USB. Uh, there's a USB in and out and that's 100 watts so that's telling me that this device, this power station itself can charge pretty quick off a of USB. It also has Type-C and 
two DCs, and the DC also plugs into the solar panel. We're starting to feel a little sprinkles right here, hoping the weather holds off just a little bit. And we also have a light, LED light with six different modes. It's gonna be hard to tell, hard to turn on. I'll turn it on for a second, and then you can kind of see. I mean, it's pretty hard, uh, but in my unboxing portion of the video, uh, I'm in house and you can see it a little more clear and a little better. What, I, what I'm gonna use this for is, is a lot of the filming and recording. So you can see right here, let me adjust the camera a little bit. You can see right here some of the devices that I would use to charge. You know, um, I'm on location and I need to take a smaller camera with me, something pretty small like that. And that's gonna be real easy for me to plug in. You know, my action cameras are always rolling with action cameras. So once again, uh, if, if I do need to just a direct power supply, these uh, Insta360s will run straight off a power supply where I don't need, um, where, where they're not gonna use up the battery. So that's great for me to use. I'm just adjust this camera real fast. Um, and then again, you know, my drone, I'm flying my drone out uh, around a lot. And uh, especially when I'm on site and location. So this is great to use it in between in between scenes or when I'm going from one spot to the next, I can use the power power station to charge my drone and keep my drone going without having to worry about uh, uh, alternative batteries. And if you if you ever filmed with any kind of action cameras you know that they're fun and nice and compact the problem the biggest problem that most people have is that the batteries run out very very quick so using a charging station and connecting this to my power station i can keep batteries on the go charging no matter what and it doesn't even necessarily have to be that you're in the outdoors i mean um if you can be at at a location where you don't you don't have a cord easily accessible or you don't have an extension cord or you don't want to bring the uh, uh, an extension cord with you you can use the um, this power station to do that it is not waterproof so <laughs> getting a little bit of sprinkles here so um, I'm good right now uh, some of the cords that it does come with that comes with this uh, that's included with the power station is you do have a strap for your shoulder strap so you do want to be on the go um, you also have have the cord right here that plugs in to the wall where you can charge this and you have your your AC I mean you have your cigarette lighter where you can charge this with your cigarette lighter and uh, yeah we're getting a little more a little more sprinkles but this is a great great device for for anyone to use in the office or your workstation uh, if you have power tools and you need to charge your battery with your power tools if it can definitely do that in the book in this manual, there's a diagram that will show you, and it'll show you what it, how long it runs, like a fan, and how long you can use a cooking pot and a rice cooker and a small refrigerator, and it just shows you a nice guide that's that's pretty, pretty um, real world to uh, to how long it will, how long it it takes to charge or to run some of those devices and some of those uh, electronics. Now one of the things I do also want to show you is this also comes with you can you can get one of the options you can get is you can get a hundred watt solar panel and uh, I did just that and the solar panel itself has a very nice protective covering or scratch proof sheen on it. Um, I plugged it in for a little while, which was the old over cloud day, so I did plug it in for a little while just to see if uh, you know how easy it was to plug in. You have the the connections all in here, and it also has a Velcro space for a stand. And I'll demonstrate that later or separate than this video. So in case you see the location change, that's kind of just what I'm showing you is the fact that, you know, uh, everything that it does have to offer. And I'm telling you right now, you know what, I'm really impressed with this, with this power station. 
the rain is not doing me justice so I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to uh, pack up just a little bit just because of the rain you know no it's supposed to be any rain forecasted but hey you know what it happens right we're on location and this is this is this is the life we live this is what we do but you know this power station I would recommend anybody um, uh, just using it and, and getting everything uh, just using it for the short period of time that I have and uh, and how durable it is and how slick it is and and the nice strap that it comes with and and how portable it is I mean it, it really offers a lot for a lot of different people out there no matter whether you're out Outdoorsy, or you go camping, or you simply want to take it to a job site, or in the office. You know, this this is a really, really smooth and sweet looking deal. So stay tuned for the unboxing part. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm very pleased with it from what I've read, read so far online and what I've seen, and just handling it and boxing it and, and plugging a few things into it. You know, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I know you will too. And. Uh, just plug it into so now let's see the out jump to 17 watts and there's a light indication the indicator right there you can barely see it but I don't know if you can see it but there's a light indicator right there showing me that this is actually charging my drone so now it's kicked up to 20 watts so it's 20 watts is going to be run for seven hours before this is done so 20 watts so it's going to my phone and it's going to my drone at the exact same time let's kick it up another notch and let's see if we can run a light with it at the same time too so let me plug this light in there's the light that's plugged in now. My little light for doing, uh, you know, vlogging. Just turn it on. Now the light is on there. You can see that the light's on. And now you see that we changed again. So now it's running at, I don't know if you can see that, 41 watts and three hours. So three hours, this can run the phone. Of course, it's charging the phone. The drone and our ring light so pretty awesome pretty cool let's plug this back in and see if it's gonna do anything to the time if it's gonna if the solar panel can help it sustain it a little bit more so we were at three hours I don't know if it can intake solar panel at the same time and keep running this and it just did that it changed to four hours so now it's at five hours so i'm so you're i'm sure your your the owner manual will, will indicate that now it's just climbing now it's at 13 14 hours 16 hours i guess it's fluctuating with the solar panel the amount of light that it's taken in but now it's back so it was back up to six hours ten hours now it's at five hours so anyway so it's just pretty nifty pretty cool device you know something that's going to be awesome awesome for me to uh to play with you know i love devices i love gadgets I, I i enjoy all this kind of stuff and you know i mean just you know like my 360 camera plugging that in with with all my other components you know like i was saying earlier you know having a a smaller camera on hand that i do a lot of times or recharging my flashlights i mean this is going to be it's going to be clutch for me um i'm really looking forward to using it out in the field and uh, y'all should check them out online in the description section of the video uh, I leave a, I'll leave a link for Ingratech uh, this is a plum 300 uh, 300 watts and it's and they also have you can either get the, the, the power station by itself or you can do the combo with the 100 watt solar panel that's what I went with uh, because I know that we're gonna do the hurricanes and in camping and being outdoors um, that that 100 watt panel will come in very very handy for for myself but hey guys i appreciate each and every one of you hopefully next time you catch me hooking up you know we're out here in the great outdoors i love being outside i love being outdoors and you know this this device is this this power station is even coming clutch even when i'm just sitting on the patio you know plug my plug my speaker into it while i'm grilling having a barbecue having friends over 
I, I see myself getting out a lot of use out of this taking this to the office when we're doing stuff in-house in the studio taking this with me and just not having to worry about uh, putting my bags down next to a uh, an outlet but just plug my laptop in and run my laptop off this uh, or if I need to charge my battery on my laptop be able to do that in the office as well but hey guys thanks a lot hopefully uh, hopefully next time you catch me hook it up thanks